Donald Turner fam. Thank you for watching this video. Appreciate it. So, got a lot of questions on Instagram and Facebook saying, Old Murray's fishing tough. What do I do, Steve? I mean, what, what y'all gotta understand, it's, it's a fall transition. And what that means in simple terms to a bass fisherman, all you need to know is that there is shad in so many water columns right now and these fish are just spread out. You, I mean, one pattern may last 30 minutes, one pattern may last all day. You gotta get out there and figure out a pattern that you can adjust to. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go, we're gonna stay shallow. That's my strength. I'm not out here trying to fish deep for you. So stay shallow. We're gonna throw spinner baits, crank baits, and if we have to, we'll start flipping. So let's get out here and see if we can't find us some of these fall transitions. Yep, got the first little large mouth. A little crappy jig. <laughs> I ran over this brush pile. I ain't never fished this brush pile before, but I done caught too crappy off of it in the past three minutes, so I'm catching some. I'm trying not to show y'all because this is that new territory. <laughs> nah, y'all probably know where I'm at. It'll be alright though. Okay. So I done caught like eight crappy in ten minutes. So now we're going to get back to bass fishing. <laughs> I just ran over this brush pile, man. I had to do it. Had to do it. We'll probably come back, finish our limit up. But it's one of them things as a crappy fisherman. When you notice, you go over it with your graph and they just own it. I ain't never fished this brush pile before. I just found it, really. So let's go find a bass. A good bass don't call it two bass on this dang brush pile but there ain't nothing to talk about so start throwing a square bill spinner bait and buzz bait see what we can get if not we'll go throw a Demiki rig or a nico rig or whatever you call it see if we can find something big old striper just jumped too mm, mm, mm. well we found one little guy saw him off a boat ramp Oh wacky rig. It's a little nail weight in it. But it's a piece of the puzzle. Let's move this some up shallow. Another one on the wacky rig. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Oh yeah, yes sir. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Nice one. Come here, buddy. Let me show you to the people at home. Pretty good start. Barely hooked. Good, probably almost two pounder. Good feeler for the tournament. So, wacky rig. And I mean, this dock's in five foot of water. Let's see what we can do. But what I'm using, I mean, Let me get out from around here. Take the snail weight out of this one. With their own little worms, I figured I'd pick up a pack. It's a green pumpkin sinker stick. And I got it on a little, uh, I don't know how big that nail weight is to be honest with y'all guys. But it's a little cheapy nail weight you buy. Look like this. But I'm putting it on the flat side. 
not sure if the nail weight makes a difference with it being so shallow, but I'm going to keep putting it in here. But that's all we're using. We got a six cents wacky hoop. And let's go get another one. So the thing about pattern fishing to me is I caught two fish, shallow docks, a little bit of gravel slash little rocks. So it's about picking other places on the lake. It's doing the same thing. So I'm gonna pull up to this stretch, see if we can find another one. I seen him roll on it. That was a pretty good one. At least about a two pounder. On the end of this dock. See, we're sitting at about 13 foot, so that's probably five foot. Dang. He rolled it on the way down. Probably ain't gonna get him to bite again because he spit it out. Normally when they taste it, that's game over. So right now, I'm in the middle of the creek. And it's just dead. So I'm gonna go on back and see if I can find a little bit of activity and I'll fish it. But if not, I guess I might have to fight the wind on the main river channel. Well, the main lake. Back here, in the creek. Far, nah, I mean, I'm not going all the way to the back, but we go pretty good ways. Keep looking at depth finder, see if I can find any shad. If there ain't no shad back here, there ain't no point for me to be fishing. I mean, yeah, I could probably find one or two, but that ain't what I'm looking for. Big one, guys. Oh my god. Getting that motor. He bit it three times. Flipping this old ultravise speed crawl. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Where were you at, Big Bass Tour? Got him. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> oh that's what I'm talking about oh, he wasn't going nowhere damn fusion hooks dang he's pinned <laughs> I threw in that dang lay down probably six times and he bit it three times and I missed him twice. It's about a four pounder right there. Oh man. Oh. So I'm gonna put him in a live well for a picture later. But We own to something. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, that's just a, a one fish catch. <laughs> oh. Oh, that felt good, though. I was not expecting that. Especially when he was biting so much. But I'll show y'all what I caught him on. We got a half ounce tungsten. Half ounce tungsten weight. Five watt hook. Old bead from flipping. An old zoom ultra vive speed crawl. So I'm pretty much still in the middle of the creek. But I've seen a lot of shad on the depth finder. So I figured I will stop right here and fish these couple laydowns. 
just to see what was out there. Whew. Get your heart pumping. Now that would have been a money fish about two weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, I, I missed a fish up here, which I, I'm thinking it was a brim. So I was like, well, there's a brim on this tree. There's got to be something eating the brim. So I pitched it out to the end. He hit it the first time. Missed him. Pitched it again. He hit it and, dro and dropped it. So I pitched it again. He just started running with it. I was like, uh-huh, got you. But I was not expecting him to be that big. <laughs> so that's two in the box. Good deal, good deal. I mean, that, that's fall fishing, man. And I'm the king of junk fishing. So it kind of just works out for me. You just see something that looks good, you go fish it. 